Good day and welcome to a new video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Welcome to Weekly Tips. We're going to put some sense in your tip jar. Welcome today, you're joined by me, Daniel, and we're going to be talking to you about drawing a polar bear head. So let's get icy cold and get into this and draw this little polar bear. So I start off here doing the side view. That's the most easiest view to start off with. I recommend starting off at this point. Here we are going into and finding out the features of like his nose with side view. It shows, you know, how big his nose is compared to his face and um those features and that that's also what um defines it against a a general beer or another kind of beer um, their features are a little bit different um, as you can see you probably know I've done a grizzly bear kind of drawing before in one of these videos and you saw that he had a bigger head uh, so he has a big head in this um, so knowing those features can help you in, in drawing the differences and knowing um, something kind of having something to compare it to is easier um, whether if you're just kind of thinking on its own, it can get a little bit challenging. Um, however, the side view for the polar bear does not exactly, you know, it doesn't always show a polar bear per se. You know, I feel like the front view shows a lot more detail into the polar bear. So, yeah, go into the, the front view. Uh, the second view is my opinion, you know. Um, as I do, and I do a, a rough little sketch here, a rough drawing, as I do, and then, you know, I take that rough sketch, I kind of use it to fix it up, because I notice, you know, um, I notice a few things that need changing, the size of his head needs to be bigger, a little bit bigger, it's kind of easier just to kind of start off and, and draw this, and then, work with what you've got and fix it up that way it can be a little easier doing it that way because it's like you have a a wrong place to go you've already sussed out the wrong place now you can draw the right places the right features of the the front view beer and fix it up that way that's why i feel it's easier and then you know i, I feel like i haven't really given the side view a good go um or at least achieved what i wanted to achieve with the side view or or, or thought i didn't really understand it too well with the side view that i've got so i redrew the side view in a different angle a little bit kind of a three-quarter kind of um view but it is still kind of a side view so i do that again just to help me out uh, to understand a little bit more about his features and um, about this polar bear. It's really good if you, you know, you do a drawing and you feel like it's it's not that great or there's just something you maybe not understood about the um, what you were drawing. It's good to just take it and do it again um, in another formal way, like if it's side view per se of, of this polar bear. Find another side view, whether, you know, it's a it's another angle side view, but find something very similar or another way to draw it. Uh, you can, you know, draw that drawing over and over again. Um, but if you can, try and find another angle because it can really help you and go back to it as well. Um, and then go back. Don't just, you know, tackle the same drawing over and over and over again. Um... You can do it that way, but if you if you do that, sometimes you don't learn as much. If you tackle other drawings and then come back to it, you can learn a bit more other than just this in there. And now I do a bit more of a better kind of view. I call it a better view, a, a more pers a view with more personality. I'm going to call it uh, for these videos. But yeah, they these drawings that I do. I take everything I've just drawn. Uh, the side view, the front view, and the kind of three quarter slash side view again, and draw the polar bear in a more interesting pose, his face in an interesting pose, 
um, it, it's a little bit more harder to tackle, but if you get those three things out of the way, kind of front view, side view, um, back view if you can, uh, the different views to really understand um, the polar bear a bit more, his features, you know, how long his nose is, and um, how big his eyes are, and how big his ears are, um, if you get those features right, uh, of studying them a little bit then you can go in and do something more unique and more interesting even maybe take what you know and make a an interesting character out of it uh, a polar bear character you know so yeah if you jot these three things down first you know side views front views um, and get to know the polar bear a bit more, then you can go for something interesting and more dynamic. Um, so yeah, hopefully, you know, that did help you along your way. Obviously, you know, these aren't the best drawings in the world. Um, all of this, all of these drawings, um, all together took me about 20-ish minutes. Um, so they're not, you know, too shabby. I would, if I could, um, spend more time on them and, and, and really, you know, draw or paint actual polar bear one day. Um, that's obviously because one of the things I've got on the list. Um, but yeah, hopefully you did learn something. Comment below if you like this video. Um, if you have any topics you'd like me to talk about. Um, I always like suggestions. Yeah, thumbs up if you liked it as well. Uh, let me know if you have drawn these polar bears. And yeah, keep drawing, keep creating people, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.